there are many unmet needs for hepatocellular carcinoma patients. So even outside of radiation therapy, these patients for many years were not prioritized for new uh, therapy development and outcomes um, are poor, but improving as we improve our local, regional, and systemic therapies. So this patient population overall is really important. Um, hepatocellular carcinoma is the number two uh, cause of uh, global um, cancer mortality, and it's on the rise despite our um, advances in, in treating you know, viral hepatitis and other interventions. It still is on the rise. It's a really important cancer. The unmet needs are really from um, early detection to palliation for hepatocellular carcinoma. We need to detect cancers earlier to improve outcomes. We need to palliate patients who have symptoms. And radiation therapy has a potential role from very early curative cancers to end-stage cancers where patients need palliation of symptoms. And so that unmet need is across the whole spectrum. In some of those settings, randomized trials may be launched to uh, show benefits of radiation. And um, in others, it may be showing benefits in terms of quality of life. And across all the spectrum of hepatocellular carcinoma, I think it's important we also look at uh, patient experience, quality of life, uh, in addition to survival, uh, progression-free survival, but also cost-effectiveness as Many of our therapies are um, ongoing and expensive, especially outside of North America. And in many countries, some with um, uh, uh, less resources, hepatocellular carcinoma is endemic and, and very important. So um, radiation therapy can play a very strong role in those countries and hopefully for all patients you know, of all different socioeconomic class and different countries where there's different resources. So many net needs that hopefully will be addressed in the future moving forward.